Well, we are here in Portree and we have got a very, very dead charger. And according to Zapmap, now I've had a D onto it, there's not two chargers, there's one charger. And it's very, 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 very dead. Hello again YouTube and welcome back to Just Get A Tesla. I am here on Sky and we're going to go for a bit of an explore. But if you haven't seen the first video on this trip or when we drove across here, go and watch that one first and then come back here. But make sure you do come back, this one's going to be special. Okay, opportunistic bit of charging because we have got this lovely Charge Play Scotland machine which hopefully it is going to read my card and it appears to have has it done so oh it has done so shall we see if we can get anything out of that dc start Ooh. It's shouting and the blue lights has come on. Trying to read anything on these screens is really hard. It says performing initial checks. I also like the way you've got a phone number literally scratched on this. Ooh, look, 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 we are. We are charging. I have no idea what rate we're charging at but we are charging. How about that? So we're actually getting 45 kilowatts. 45 off what on paper is a 50 kilowatt charger isn't bad at all. And as you can see, it's not a bad spot. So we've got a big co-op there and I'm gonna go and buy some bits in a second. And then if we walk down here, Past all the bins. Get down here onto Broadford Bay. It's not bad, is it? So, amazing, amazing bit of scenery. Nice car park and we get to charge up while we have a wee and buy some lunch. Haven't been here very long. Well, it's not actually saying, <laughs> it's not actually saying anything, is it? Uh, but whatever. Let's hit stop. See if it actually switches itself off. To stop, oh, show card first, right, okay. And then press stop. Right, okay, I've heard a clunk. I assume that's gone. Yep. Ah. Stay. <laughs> Get the cable up there. You know what? That's not the best design. Anyway, we put, uh, we put some, power in while we went in the shop so it was worth it for that so I think we went from what 61 to 68 percent yeah again opportunistic little stop uh, while we are here west of Broadford now heading for um, Sligacan and uh, the road to Dumbengan which we're going to take uh, where it splits off the main road towards um, Portree and Uig. Um, <laughs> I guess this is what we should expect for large chunks of sky. I'm probably on the North Coast 500 when I do that, which is uh, caravans and uh, camper vans. So we are behind a caravan. Shut up. We are behind a caravan at the moment. Um, he's doing reasonably well, to be honest. If I was him and I was towing the caravan, I'd probably be going a little slower. But hey, never mind.
So as well as promoting uh, Tesla and Scotland, let's do it properly and have a nice bottle of Iron Brew. Mmm. It is one of these drinks that I honestly can't tell you what it tastes of, but it's nice. Ignore the um, 40 shown as the speed limit. That's the speed limit for trucks. It's not the speed limit for cars, but as usual, Tesla Vision misreads it. It's a good job that I don't want to use uh, autopilot because then I would be stuck at 40 in a 60 limit. Not that we can do 60 because we're behind a caravan. What gets me about Sky is just how grand the scenery is. Everything is, you know, double XL scale um, compared to some of the other bits of Scotland. It's just amazing. My only problem with Sky is it's very wet and you get eaten alive by midges um, basically through the summer. So we're hopefully okay for avoiding midges right here at the beginning of May but not for much longer and if you're aware midges are these little almost invisible uh, black insects that basically bite you to death so although we're only doing 40 miles an hour at best I could try and overtake as the motorbikes are about to do the problem is in a car there's so much traffic coming the other way that you've really got to shove your way through and to be honest I just can't be bothered you know it, it'll wait I'm not in a particular hurry I'm enjoying the scenery um, you know let's just let's just roll along and enjoy it Go on then, bikes. Two more. One more. This doesn't surprise me, by the way. We have completely lost uh, phone signal, and I suspect it's going to be like that for quite a bit of the time while we're up here however I do know my way around Sky and that's not as much of an issue as you might think well the weather forecast was for heavy showers <laughs> and that's what we've got now but it does look I know it's coming in from that side and we're going that way so hopefully we're going to kind of go underneath it so we're still going to keep going um, if it is still bouncing down when I get over to where I'm going, I'm probably going to go into Dunvengan and stick it on the charger while I'm eating my lunch, basically. Now then. <laughs> uh, where are the traffic lights? Are they in front of us or are they to the left? Because there's a load of bikes that are just kind of sat here. What's going on? No, they've just pulled over. Oh, no, they haven't pulled over. They're waiting for traffic to go past. Oof. You know what? <laughs> With the weather <laughs> and then this road surface, uh, good grief! I, I'm very glad. <laughs> I'm very glad that I've got um, four wheels uh, on the tarmac rather than just two. Blimey, that's not pretty. And then obviously the road just disappears off. Uh, into the distance. Well, if you want, hang on, cattle grid? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, that is properly broken up. So, if you, if you want proper uh, Scottish roads and proper Scottish scenery and indeed proper Scottish weather, I give you sky. It was glorious earlier on and now it is blatting down with rain. We're on a single track road heading off into misty hills um, with huge 
potholes in the tarmac. <laughs> this is great. And enormous puddles. Right, I don't think I need the wipers on anything like as quick as that, so we'll slow them down. Auto wipers doing the usual bit of satanic possessed madness. So it's still a bit grey and a bit damp, but it stopped absolutely hurling it down and it is, as you can see, much brighter ahead. So we are uh, going straight to uh, the um, lighthouse because let's go and do sky. Now this is the uh, far northwest of the Isle of Skye. So actually if I zoom all the way out, can you see that? Yes you can. So. Oh, not that far out, Ian. So, yeah, Broadford, Kyle's down there, so we basically, we're in the northwest. Um, this is really quite remote, to be honest. This is a <laughs> bit of the backwater, of the backwater, and frankly, that's why I like it. It is um, interesting, and it's quiet, and it's beautiful. gonna say I'm coming as well don't just keep going thank you look at this though isn't this wonderful yeah we've gone straight through the weather and out the other side this is perfect Oh well, <laughs> not exactly the weather I was um, hoping for, but hey, whatever. Can you see the path? We need to go over the um, over the top of there by the um, pole, and then down to the lighthouse. It's quite a walk, and the few times I've done this previously, it hasn't been raining quite like it is now but again never mind i appear to be the only person who's brought us an umbrella which is means one of two things either i'm very smart or i'm very stupid we'll find out which a lot of steps down and then sweeps down there and then it goes over there it's spectacular and you know what the fact that it's actually a bit rainy at the moment <laughs> just makes it even more spectacular because I've been here previously and the weather's been nice. This makes it different. In fact, if it had actually been stuck up in the clouds, that would have been quite interesting as well, but um, we'll maybe save that for another time. The rain isn't really letting up, which is a pity because this place is special it really is but it's a little bit wet but yes absolute sheer cliffs you do not want to fall off that so from here can you see just how much of a roller coaster this path is because we've just done that path over there it goes over the top of that ridge line that gets you to the uh, pole with the wires on there's another one here and basically that then starts a really steep drop and then really 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 steep climb up the steps it's it's a proper path most of the lighthouses in scotland that i've seen are of a very similar design to this so if you have seen any of my videos where i go to uh, the lighthouse in fraserburgh Apart from the fact that it sticks up through the middle of a castle, all of the outbuildings are the same as this, same colour scheme as well. So these are all automated. So the Northern Lighthouse Board now runs them from Edinburgh, but obviously you still need maintenance teams. So nobody needs to live here anymore. And that's probably a good thing. Because at the moment, it's only raining and there's a little bit of a breeze, but nothing dramatic. But obviously in a storm, Surrounded by 
all of this nothing, it might get a bit exciting. They have actually secured the site. So last time I was here, you could wander around the inside and peer into the windows and it says the port side cabin, there's still beds and things in there from when it was run as a and b but there's now proper locks on everything. So, no going in to have a meander around anymore. And you know what? That's fair enough. Somebody owns this. That was fun. Wet, tiring, but fun. Fantastic view from up here. And as you can see, the weather has now cleared. So we're essentially gonna work our way along the end of what is a big long peninsula. And then we'll be on the other side of the water over there, eventually. We're on the um, road. We're on the road above um, Uig. The pier is down there, and um, <laughs> as you can see, it's tight, and there's a bit of a traffic jam. So there is far, far more traffic trying to use this road than realistically can fit down it which makes it quite interesting. So I'm going to sit here. We'll let this guy come in behind us. We'll let a bit of this traffic go and then we'll have another uh, we'll have another pop at it. So this road goes all the way to the north uh, around the north of Sky in a big loop, but we're not going that far. We are going to go all the way around there. Now that is a proper hairpin. Um, but we are going to take the road across the top of this peninsula um, past the Quinraig. And I know that that is going to be even more stupidly single track than this already is. Which, of course, is kind of the point. We want it to be a bit of fun, don't we? We're here to have Tesla adventures. Take it nice and slow because we've got pedestrians in the road. Thank you. <laughs> this is what we're here for. I do enjoy the um, double yellow lines to stop people from parking. I mean, really, are you gonna come down here and try and park? It's crazy. Ooh. This is pretty spectacular out here. Goodness me. So we are coming down towards Portree. I have got 25% left in the battery and I really should have a think about charging. I'm not desperate, but let's have a think about it. So there are two chargers in Portree. There is one in Broadford that we went on a little bit earlier and there are two in uh, Kyalikin. Now I can make the latter two if I need to but I'm going to have a look in Portree because I'd quite like to have a wander around. It's a nice place. 
So if I can get onto one of the uh, two charges there, I believe they're in different car parks, just to add to the fun, but if I can get on one of those, I will do so. Otherwise, we'll carry on down to Broadford, and if I have to wait for that one, I have to wait for that one. Again, we're not in any particular kind of hurry. Um, <laughs> we're enjoying the scenery, which, let's be honest, isn't bad. Well, we are here in Portree, and we have got a very, very dead charger. And according to Zapmap, now I've had a dig onto it, there's not two chargers, there's one charger. And it's very, 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 very dead. And what's more, they've known about it for months and they've done nothing. Now that all of the um, rain has cleared, it's turned into a glorious afternoon. Look at it. And it's 19 degrees, 19. That is the warmest that I've seen all year so far. And it's absolutely lovely. So hopefully get into Broadford, hook the car up, have a little walk, eat some food, and um, have a good time. Another Tesla. He's going to be disappointed if he needs to charge up in Portree. <laughs> so the one in Portree, completely non-functional. The one in Uig, uh, allegedly the AC uh, side works and the DC side does not work. So that doesn't work. The one in Dunvengen had a Polestar 2 hooked up to it. So I assume that one is working. Uh, and obviously the one in Broadford, but it does mean yeah, do you want to, like, Jesus. I mean, did you see that? She's just absolutely meandering across the main road. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I was saying, you have got not enough chargers um, on the island. Because I make it then that there's only four that are actually functional. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Friends, please tell me in the comments <laughs> what you think. I hope you are enjoying the ride, because I am. This is just a blissful experience. Just look at it. I've just pulled up in Broadford and there is a Kia Soul sat next to me who is out of the charger and the guy's on the phone to Charlie's Place Scotland because he doesn't have a card and he doesn't have an account and I have no idea whether he's going to be able to charge or not. But I'm sat here in position, ready to do so, uh, either after him if he actually does get the thing started or pretty much straight away if he can't. It's charging. It is charging. It took a phone call <laughs> to the helpline. Despite me having an RFID card, I had to ring the helpline and it took him three attempts to get it going because for whatever reason, it was being an arse. So it is at least now getting, yeah, I'm jacking it again, 41, 42 uh, kilowatts, which is probably as most as I'm gonna get. I can charge here for no more than an hour, although that's probably a bit rude. So what we're gonna do is, let's get some money, let's get some tea, and then we'll see how it goes. I've just given a bit of advice to some guys with a newish looking Tesla who were trying to plug in on AC and I had to point out to them that it won't charge AC and DC at the same time and even if it would it'd take an eternity but they're heading to Inverness so I've said to them why not carry on down to Broadford not to Broadford sorry we're here at Broadford to Kylikin where there's two chargers one of them will work the other thing of course is they don't have an account they don't have the app uh, I think they were downloading the app, so they'll need a remote start. You know what? Having an EV is a pain in the arse. We're plugged in over there. This is Broadford Bay, and this is going to be a very pleasant experience with mm, fish and chips while we sit and let the car charge up. It's only getting 42 kilowatts, but that's about all I was expecting. Frankly, I feel like I'm lucky getting that because it really, really, really didn't want to start, did it? Hmm, problem. 
I've been plugged into this now for nearly an hour, almost. It says 45 minutes plus a 15 minute grace period and I've used it because it's absolutely trundling along at what, 40, 41 kilowatts, which is crawling, what am I on? 65%, it'll do, but I thought it'd go quicker. Honestly, charging on this island is absolutely shocking. Uh, most of the units don't work. <laughs> which is a problem if you've got a car with a small battery. Happily I don't, but even so. I always feel sad when I'm leaving Sky. However, I'm coming back tomorrow morning, so that's okay. And the reason we are going off the island and going to the um, hostel that we're staying in is, one, it was pretty much the last bed available anywhere when I was booking this yesterday, and two, I absolutely love the place that I'm staying. Wow, look at this guys, look at this. coming up on Eileen Donan and its castle. So Eileen is island in um, Gaelic and obviously there is a castle <laughs> on it. It's an interesting place to go and visit but I've never actually been around it. I've just gone into the car park and had a look. We'll have a look at it tomorrow morning. We'll do that. This road is not really very big. Check this out because now we're gonna <laughs> dive off onto this and it gets even narrower. But, but, look at this. And the hostel is on the bank just up here. Baby sheeps! Need to get off the road there, little baby sheep. There you go. Amazing places to live, but it really is in the absolute arse end of nowhere. Ooh, we have got plenty of choices of parking. Well, in that case, I'm gonna stick it right on here. No, go around the back. They don't want you parking there anymore. That's fine, but there's no one here, hardly. And this is why I stay here because we are absolutely on the banks of this lock. And just look at it. It is absolutely stunning. 
and it's a nice little hostel. Yeah, it really is. And um, I've had a fantastic day out. I've got a beer, and then after I've drunk this, I've got another one. And um, I think I'm going to leave you there. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Tomorrow's video, we're going back onto Sky. We are taking the ferry across to Rase. So make sure you have subscribed, because otherwise you're going to miss all of that fantastic Tesla goodness right here on Just Get a Tesla.